item that we're going to consider is the use of resource books. There are many different types of resource books available and within those books there tends to be a general pattern and typically the resource book pack will come in a three book series. And typically that three book series will be in the form of the student book, a workbook and a teacher's resource book. So for example here are those three books for this particular series called Total English and in the student book the type of information that we can gain from here is the actual background to the teaching points themselves plus some additional information in terms of short worksheets and so on and so forth and tape transcripts at the end for listening activities which these days often come on a CD rather than a cassette. So within the student book itself, what this will give us is the actual information for the teaching point. The workbook will often give us activities that are very useful in an ESA lesson for the study phase of the lesson. And the teacher's resource book will not only give us some additional background to the actual teaching point, but it often gives activities that are useful for the activate phase of an ESA lesson. So the three books contained within the book series basically will provide us with all the information that we need to know for the actual lesson content itself, activities to do during the study phase, and activities to do in the activate phase. Now quite often some of the activities that are suggested here may not be culturally suitable or we may not have covered the exact teaching points as they have in the book. So very often the activities taken from the workbook and the resource book would need to be adapted or changed in some way.